Hey y'all, I'm out here at the Simple Fresh Garden tonight. It was a hot one today. We almost reached three digits. I think we will reach three digits tomorrow, which means I'm gonna be watering this garden tonight. But right now, I wanna check for any pest damage, anything I can do to fix that, and harvest some stuff before I water and look for any heat damage as well. So let's get in the garden, y'all. And these cucumbers are almost ready to harvest. I'm going to give them another day or two, especially since I want to try to take them down to uh, Georgia to my family before we go. So I'll give those a couple more days. Surprise, these nasturtiums are still here. Everything else looking okay right here. Oh, it looks like some of these wildflowers are finally starting to bloom. I have no idea what they are. They were just a mix that I kind of through in there. Everything here is looking okay. See a lot of blossoms dropping here, so I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing right now. And our Japanese beetle uh, infestation has kind of dropped significantly. Um, still having a cucumber beetle issue. I see a cucumber beetle and a Japanese beetle on the same leaf right here. But um, for the most part, the, the beetle uh, component of it is has gotten a lot better. I don't know how to combat these cucumber beetles because I see four of them right here within my eyesight, just in this one little spot. So I'm just going to breeze through real quick and look for any spots that I need to harvest things from and make a note of that. So that I can get that done before I start watering. All in all, everything's looking okay right now. Um, just at a quick glance out through here. I'm not seeing anything major. But um, I can't believe how many baby booms we have now. Look how much has changed in just one day, y'all. I just harvested the two that were bright red last night. Also got some peppers and definitely some okra to take care of. Okay, that's a bumblebee. I thought it was a... Might leave these peppers on for a few more days. I might go ahead and get that lemon boy too. Ooh, look at these. Siren stuff, y'all. And I think our thermometer says that it's over 100 degrees, actually. Let's look. Let's close this register in about 98. Definitely gonna look for hornworms while I'm out here. Oh, I got some aromas turning. Oh, that one's got damage. See it? Yep. Pull that one off. Disappointing. A lot of my aromas aren't making it. I gotta stake this pepper up too. He's leaning this cool jalapeno. Oh, I'm getting some of the lunchbox, the pepperoncinis coming out. Blueberries. One of my super sweet 100 starting to blush down here. Something's going on in the hen house. They're fussing over there. See a beetle over here. Still a little upset about this. <sighs> Got some beans to harvest. 
hoping we were all going to come out tonight, but we had a pretty long day and a, a meeting with our, um, some of our team at Semper Canine, so it's kind of draining evening. I do see a squash bug right there that I need to kill. So I will grab the duct tape and look around in here, see if there's any others that need to go. See an okra over there to harvest. Is this okra over here looking? Still too small. That one's got one coming. These tomatoes need to be harvested too. Okay, so of course this is gonna be my go-to spot looking for hornworm, since this is where I have found the most. I don't know if I'll be out here long enough to try to use my black light. I might. I don't know. Um, I have a lot of fruit set, but not a lot that are turning. I have a lot of in blossom right, which is very upsetting. And again, I think it's just because at the beginning of the season, and by the way, I'm throwing those over in the compost. At the beginning of the season, we were so excited about finally having water that we may have overwatered until we got on a good schedule. Because I know it's not a calcium issue. I planted a, um, I planted a, um, each, each plant has an egg under it, like the whole egg. And it's weird because not all of the plants have it. So which one is this one? This is the delicious tomato. This guy has a, this one's gonna be cat-faced. See if my chickens want to eat these. Sometimes they want the tomatoes and sometimes they don't. So, Chris said the ones I harvested the other night needed a little bit more time. So I'm going to leave those on till tomorrow. Still looking for hornworms. Not really seeing much with the uh, heat, so that's good. And so now it kind of has me wondering if I should just wait and water first thing in the morning. I may do that because some of the soil still feels wet. I watered two days ago, so maybe that's what I should do. I'll just harvest when I need to harvest and then I'll head home. I'll worry about watering in the morning. All right, so last night I said, oh, this guy can get him in the morning and look. This is too big to eat. This is about the size that you want it. And this one's almost too big to eat. So, these, this might still be okay. This is perfect though. I have a couple more plants to harvest from too. And it looks like my golden zucchini is finally starting to produce again. Don't know about the gray zucchini. These may be done. I'm seeing, I'm seeing another fruit come out on that one. Not on this one. I haven't seen one on this one in a while. Oh, there's one. It was hiding. I'm definitely gonna harvest this guy. I'm gonna leave these two here. And I'm also going to harvest this lemon boy as well. It's the only one. Only got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more fruit that could potentially be ripe in the next week that are lemon boy. Got a couple Arkansas travelers. Shit, bugs crawling. And um, I don't know if these Mr. Stripey are gonna, only got two fruit on the whole plant on both plants. Between these two, I only have two fruit. And one of them has a blemish. So, I don't know. 
I have not seen this yet. Squash bug eggs on the stem itself, which that stem's bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull it. I need to see and research how many eggs one squash bug will lay because here's one hiding down here. I've just picked off a whole bunch of eggs from my leaves. I'm trying to get this guy or girl, but I want to know how many eggs they lay because then I would know how many to look for. So if I had like five sets of eggs, I'd know there's five bugs somewhere hanging out. I got some baby fuzzy Kajari melons here. Still baby. I don't know if I can do anything to make them grow bigger or faster. So none of my other Kajari melon plants have Kajari melons. Let me go look in the melon bed. Okay, so this little set of plants are Kajari melons. I don't see any fruit set on any of these yet. I think I planted these first. I think. Cute little melon. Uh-oh, he's already getting rot. Damn. Dang. This one kind of feels it too. Well, gotta come check for more squash bug eggs tomorrow. Well, shoot. So I didn't get much tonight, but I got a little bit. I'm actually gonna dehydrate all the cherry tomatoes I have on my little dehydrator. See how that goes. I wanted to walk back over here because we did get our compost delivered today. And see what's going on back here. So I see my beans are starting to come up. Got a bean right there. That's the purple potted pole beans. One of the rattlesnake pole beans looks like it's starting to come up right there. A couple of the cucumbers. And I have a couple more cucumbers that I'm gonna plant as well. But I think tomorrow we're going to come out here and work on this high tunnel and getting the rest of that bed put together over there, put the flashing on the side of our beds and get our drip irrigation put into place. Yeah, I don't think any of these tomato plants are going to make it, the poor things. This one's just dead. That one's just dead. These were suckers. Okra hasn't germinated. None of it has. It's been a week. I wonder if it's too hot. Oh, backside from the cucumbers. They just didn't do very well. Not sure what happened with them. And this vine right here is a cucamelon. <laughs> I'm just letting it go at this point. That pink brandy wine is probably not going to do a lot, so I'm just gonna let it be. There is a new fruit up here on it though. Where is it? Right there. So, I don't know, we'll see. Yeah, my sad tomato plants. I should have just waited a little longer, but I was just ready to get them in the ground. I don't know. A couple of them might pull through. I keep saying that. I don't know. These are dead. But I have some more um, plants out by the house, so I got to get Chris into gear on helping me get this thing put back together. 
or not put back together, just put together so that we can regulate the temperature in here and try to get it regulated before we go. This is ready for soil. So he is going to fill this with a tractor tomorrow. Gosh, those bees are bearding. Look at that. But anyway, um, we gotta get that done before we go out of town. And it looks like we are gonna get some rain Monday. At least that's what's in the forecast right now. Oh, so I have a dragon's tongue bush bean coming up right here. That's kind of cool. None of the okra though, not a single bit. I don't think I buried them too deep. Huh. May just be too hot. It's gonna be another hot one tomorrow though. Anyway. I'm about to head home. It's been a long day and I did a lot of projects and cleaning and organizing at home. I actually got almost all my laundry caught up. I always have clean laundry. Rarely do I have dirty laundry. However, the laundry doesn't always make it past a pile in the bedroom. That's just one of my shortcomings and I know that and I have tried numerous times to change it. I think part of the problem is I've never had enough storage space for my clothes. Like I have a chest of drawers, but the drawers aren't even that big. They're like small. I can fit like three sweatpants, four sweatpants in them, and that's it. Anyway, that's one of my, uh, what do you call those? I guess that's really my only one. Bad habit. Uh, what do they call it? It's got a saying for it. Anyway, whatever it's called, that's one of mine. One of the few that I have, I guess. Um, quirk? No, I don't think that's called. I know it's just a task I hate doing. I hate taking out the trash and I hate folding and putting up laundry, especially if I'm just going to put it back on in a day or two. But I've always lived in a house that didn't really... The, the two times that I did live somewhere where I had an a actual closet, like a walk-in closet that was had adequate space for a normal person's clothes, because I don't feel like I have that many clothes. Well, I kind of do, but I did get rid of a lot of stuff recently. However, um, the two times that I did live at a place where I had adequate storage, I did not have a problem doing my laundry. And putting it up but like I said I always have plenty of clean clothes we never really have dirty clothes in excess it's always um, the clean ones I never seem to put them up and the main problem is it's just the storage issue but anyway well I guess I'm gonna head to the house chickens have kind of settled down I think we just have too many roosters is the biggest problem because now they're starting to get where they fight a little bit. So, um, anyway, I hope y'all have a wonderful evening. I'll see y'all next time. Good night, y'all.